Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. Some massive news for Coach Prime and the Colorado Buffaloes coming out of the transfer portal as former Oklahoma State cornerback DJ McKinney commits to Colorado and doing some work and kind of buzzing through DJ McKinney and what he brings to Colorado. A few things that really jump off the sheet for you. One, from a physical makeup standpoint, he's a box checker, right? Six to 190 pounds, physical frame, likes to put his hands on opposing wide receivers. But then you start digging into what he was coming out of high school with the track background. I mean, many of you guys have listened to me talk about cornerbacks in the evaluation process. When you have the size, the length, and the long speed, those are the physical traits that you look for in a cornerback. DJ McKinney possesses all of those. few other things that I really like. Played a ton of football as a redshirt freshman for Oklahoma State and played at an extremely high level. Over 590 snaps played, faced 49 targets, only gave up 22 completions. When targeted, he only gave up a 45% completion percentage and played really well in the conference championship game against the Texas Longhorns, where they have multiple NFL wide receivers. DJ McKinney, a recruitment that I think largely flew under the radar, is a massive get for Coach Prime in Colorado as they continue to develop a very good secondary room heading into the Big 12. Want to get into DJ McKinney. Talk a little bit about where Colorado is going in the transfer portal. Before we get into it, just want to say thank you to you guys. A shout out to the Colorado fans. This has been a program. I've had a blast breaking down all the commitments. Cannot thank you guys enough for all the support you guys have shown the boys. If you guys do enjoy the content, enjoy the updates, consider subscribing to the channel again. All the support that you guys have shown over the last couple of weeks, it's been extremely busy. It means a lot. I love breaking down these commitments. It means a ton that you guys checking the boys out. Without further ado, let's dive a little deeper into DJ McKinney. One thing that, that I want to talk about is, and Coach Prime has talked about this in press conferences and, and kind of talking about how he wants to build this roster. There's an importance to, okay, we're going to recruit out of high school. We're going to recruit out of the transfer portal. But using the transfer portal, you can get a lot of different guys. And a guy like DJ McKinney going to only be a redshirt sophomore for this Colorado program has a lot of years of eligibility left. And the biggest knock on this Colorado program is they're relying too much on the transfer portal. They're kind of retooling this roster every single cycle. A guy like DJ McKinney, who has three years of eligibility left, can be a building block for this Colorado program, not only in 2024, but 2025. And in 2026, I think that's what excites you the most with a guy like DJ McKinney. And again, has played at an extremely high level. And this is another thing that we've talked about last year during this time period. Coach Prime in Colorado, they were grabbing a lot of bodies from the transfer portal. A lot of those guys were not necessarily proven commodities at the college football level. And Coach Prime just had a job to fill a roster. A lot of guys leaving the program last year. And you can't argue for one second, that he improved that roster. I mean, this Colorado team that you saw in 2023, although not a finished product, was massively improved from what you saw in 2022. But you're seeing this transfer portal cycle, you're seeing them take proven commodities from other college football programs, right? DJ McKinney, over 590 snaps on an Oklahoma State defense that went and played for a Big 12 title. This guy was a meaningful part of that Oklahoma State defense. And again, when targeted, only a 45% completion percentage. I mean, this is a ball player coming from the power five level, has played at a high level, and now adds to a ton of depth in this Colorado defensive backroom. And you kind of dig into what this secondary is going to look like for Colorado. Adding depth is massive for this Colorado program, especially in the defensive backroom where you probably want Travis Hunter to maybe not have to play every snap as a cornerback, right? When you're going to go play two ways, like Travis Hunter is going to do, you don't want to be relying on him to be on the field for every single snap on defense. So you add a guy like DJ McKinney, you add a guy like Preston Hodge from Liberty, who we talked about a couple of weeks ago. Those are all capable bodies that are going to allow Travis Hunter to be more fresh. What Travis Hunter did in 2023 was almost unheard of, and it was extremely impressive. But to maximize Travis Hunter, you probably want to take a little bit of a load off of him and let him be fresh throughout a season I think adding guys like Preston Hodge and DJ McKinney are going to mean a lot. And you still have a guy like Amari and Cooper, who I thought played really good at times for Colorado. And then Kermani McClain, 
you expect to see that jump from a freshman year to a sophomore year with Kermani McLean, a guy that you kind of knew needed some seasoning and needed some physical development. You suddenly look at this cornerback room for Colorado and not that anyone's surprised, right? When you have the best play, the best cornerback we've ever seen play college football as your head coach and coach prime, you're not surprised to see him recruit this position extremely well. A guy like DJ McKinney is a massive get, had offers from Washington, Ole Miss, Florida, Texas a and I continue to say this. It is, I mean, four years ago, talking about coach, talking about this Colorado program, beating out teams like Florida, like Ole Miss, like Texas A&M, for top recruits, whether it's at the high school ranks, whether it's in the transfer portal, that was unheard of. You're starting to see that happen on a regular basis. And you look at this Colorado transfer portal class so far, you know Coach Prime is going to continue to build this. You start scrolling down and all of these guys were either starters at their previous schools or massive contributors, guys like DJ Lundy, Samuel Okunlula, Chidozi Nwanku, and you can continue to scroll down. Coach Prime starting to check a lot of boxes in terms of what this position or what this team needed heading into 2024, right? That offensive line, massive check mark, right? When you bring in guys like Khalil Benson, Justin Mayers, Tyler Johnson, Yukari Walker, that offensive line is going to take a step. You wanted to add some depth to that defensive back room. You did that with a guy like DJ McKinney and Preston Hodge. This is a what's the most exciting. I guess we'll round out with this discussion. What's most exciting for Colorado in 2024 is Coach Prime had 12 months to see what this roster needed, right? And they went through that 2023 season. There were obviously some growing pains. Coach Prime had a chance to evaluate what was on this roster last year, kind of going in blind, just taking bodies, seeing what we have during that 2023 season. Now you're seeing them say, okay, these are the positions and position groups we need to get better at. And in this transfer portal cycle, it's a targeted approach at getting this team better at the specific spots it needed to in order to be extremely competitive heading into 2024. I think he's executing it at an extremely high level. And again, I think you're going to see one coach prime continue to be aggressive in this window. But after spring ball, I think we're going to be talking a lot more about Colorado in terms of where they're attacking in the transfer portal. Another really good get for Coach Prime in this Colorado program out of the transfer portal. Again, appreciate you guys rocking with the boys. If you guys do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel and we'll talk to y'all later. Peace.